Okay, it is departing day. Not looking very nice. We're gonna wait for the storms to blow over, but we've had some sun today. We have our dink back on the boat, on the Hurley Davit system, all tied down for the voyage. Boat's pretty much ready. We have all of our frozen food in our Yeti coolers with ice packs, meats and stuff. That should be able to get us through and keep it cold for a few days before we make room. Have our chairs tied up. Paddle. Well, you wouldn't really think that the boat is ready for a six week voyage. Everything's hidden away pretty good. We got our fresh mangoes that Bridget just picked from our neighbor's tree. We have a stocked refrigerator. We have a stocked liquor cabinet, coffee pods, some extra water, because you can never have too much water on a boat. Speaking of water, there's our cabinet, water storage. You may remember this. It used to be my tool locker. It does have some storage, but soda and beer and water. These are 12 volt inverters so that we can get the laptops charged while the generator is not running. This is my tool bag storage and extra parts. Flashlights charging back there. That is a fly swatter, an electronic one to shock the flies inevitably. Oh, we got some electronics, extra VHF radio, laptop, an extra fan, uh, mateys goodies and towels, beach towels. What else? Cabinets. Oh, we got room in there. Found a space with room. That's good. Let's check out pantry. Pantry stocked with all sorts of goodies. Still got room in here. Plenty. Again, we're we're packed pretty good here. We don't have much in there. That's for our dirty laundry. The storage back in there is still empty. Electronics there, a couple fans. Our closet's pretty stocked. Yes, and most of those shirts are mine. About 20 shirts I'm bringing, because I need about two a day in this weather, at least. Well, head is all cleaned up, ready. Matey's room, and this is pretty much a changing room for us. That's it, the rest of my clothes in that duffel. And uh, yeah, we're, we're packed away really good here. I'm, I'm impressed. It certainly didn't look like this on other trips. I guess we got a lady's touch. And here's the rain again. I'll just open these windows, I'll close them up again. And uh, once this storm passes, it's supposed to clear up a little bit later today and we are getting underway. Almost forgot, we're gonna try to get Mady to use a little patch of grass, which our friends and neighbor's dog has used as a wee wee pad. So hopefully that will entice Mady to use it also. Let's go up top. See what it's like with the plastic up. Oh, we gotta get these lines on. So yeah, I don't like driving with the plastic up, but in this rain that keeps coming and going, I'm gonna leave it up until it clears up, at least. We could open up the windows and get some fresh air. I just have some plastic over the seats because this blue and white canvas gets wet, takes forever to dry. So I'll just pull that off before we go. 
and we're almost ready. We are up on the bow. So several people had asked, how do we secure our chain? Being we have an old chain road now, um, you don't, can't tie it to the cleat. But uh, we do have a bridle, and I have the bridles out here right now just to show you. So I attach it to both bow cleats, and a 5 16th line goes out to a chain clevis hook. I think that's what it's called. So when you drop the chain, once you get the chain out and the anchor set, this holds the chain up and takes all the weight off of the windlass. So you don't have uh, all that strain and a uh, chance of the windlass slipping through the night. So you'll see that in use when we anchor out overnight. So I'm looking forward to using that. Okay, looks like we are ready. Let's do it. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't cooperating today and we made a final decision to postpone our departure until tomorrow. Rain, rain, going away. We are gonna win. Now we're tying our back up. I'm just so excited to get on our foot. Lightning. Nope. Live to fly another day. See you tomorrow.